Hey everybody, my name is Paul Brigill, and I have a dream of competing at the Olympics. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always enjoyed the Olympic spirit. Be it the opening ceremonies and everybody walking in, all the really cool and colorful flags, or the amazing stories of what the athletes had to overcome to make it into the games. I've always had this dream, but actually I had no idea how to pursue it. Well, this year I've actually hatched a plan and actually now have some course of action to make this happen. So there's a few small problems. One, I'm overweight. Two, I'm not an athlete. Three, I'm actually pretty old by Olympic standards. 36 is really pushing it. And four, I don't have a sport. Well, first of all, I actually figured out the sport. So let me show you what it is. And as you can see, it's cross-country skiing. Honestly, it wasn't the only sport I tried. I went out there, I did bobsled, but man, that was really expensive and actually you need two people. I tried downhill skiing, but you know what? I'm a snowboarder, and that didn't really quite work out either. And luge, after seeing somebody try it at the last Olympics and die, eh, I'll pass. So now that I have my sport, I started thinking, what other ways can I go out there and increase my chances? Well, I started doing my research, and I saw that tropical countries sometimes have a little bit different qualification uh, limits. Okay, now how do we become a citizen of a warm and tropical country? I don't know, but I put it out there to my friends, and with a little luck, I actually became a Colombian citizen for this. So now I'm gonna become the first Colombian cross-country skier. In the past nine months of training, I've come to realize how much athletes ask you have to overcome in order to make it to the games. First off, it takes a lot of time. These guys train like crazy. Second, it takes a lot of money, and unfortunately most of them end up in really huge debt. And third of all, they don't have the luxury of training full time like I do. This made me realize there has to be a way I could help. The problem is I actually had no idea how. Then a few months ago, one of my friends who actually happens to make video games for a living, he messaged me. He said, hey Paul, what you're working on is really amazing and super inspirational. Why don't we go out there and make a video game about it? I'm like, this is kind of ridiculous, but I like where you're going with this. And this is actually where Indiegogo community comes into play. With this Indiegogo campaign, our goal is to go out there and cover some of the costs of releasing the game. But more importantly, and ultimately, we want to go out there and raise awareness and funds for all the various youth and sports teams out there. I'm going to especially focus on going out there and raising money for the Finnish and the Colombian sports teams who've been so helpful to me all along the way in pursuing my dream. As you can see in the subsequent screenshot, the game is actually pretty far along. It actually has really beautiful art and gameplay kind of built in. The team behind it has produced some awesome games in the past as well too. They've been involved with companies like Sega, Capcom, Atari, and working on huge blockbuster hits. So I'm positive the, the quality me is super high. Besides that, the gameplay is going to be actually pretty simple and intuitive as well too. It's going to follow me cross-country skiing in Finland, doing some roller ski training in Colombia, and then actually going all the way to my qualifications on the way to road to Sochi. So please help make this happen, and more importantly, let's go out there and support these awesome athletes and help them make their dreams happen as well too. Thank you.